1513 is titled, How Can I Rewrite It? And the subtitle is Adding and Subtracting Rational Expressions. We will use factoring methods and prior knowledge of common denominators to add and subtract rational expressions. So question 26 says, review your homework problem from 1121. Verify that everyone attained the same answer. You can do that in a minute. And be prepared to justify the process for adding fractions. So they start super, super easy with just numbers. Make sure you have common denominators. Both denominators are 11, so we're good. We can just add and subtract the numerators straight across. So 8 plus a negative 3 is the same as 8 minus 3, which is 5, over that common denominator of 11. The second one here, common denominators again. So we can add the, new, the, the two numerators, x plus 2, put it over the common denominator of 6. This third one does not have common denominators. So we study the denominators for a minute, 3 and 5. So the common denominator would be 15. That means I need to multiply the first expression by 5 over 5 and the second expression by 3 over 3 to get that common denominator of 15. So 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 3 is 15. And then on the second expression, 2 times 3 is 6, and 5 times 3 is 15. Now we have two common denominators, and we can add or subtract. 5 plus 6 is 11 over that common denominator of 15. We're going to come back in a minute, and in your group of four, you guys are going to do... A, B, C, and D together, it looks like they're all common denominators already. So that, that should be easy. Let's jump down to 28, which says, what if the fractions do not have the same, same denominator? We're supposed to discuss how to add the fractions below. Be prepared to justify your strategy. Okay, so let's look at the one on the left first. So on this one, the denominators are already factored. We have a 3x plus 1 on this one, and then an x minus 5 and a 3x plus 1 on this one. They both already have the 3x plus 1, so that's good. But they don't both have the x minus 5, so we need to multiply the first expression by x minus 5 over x minus 5 to get that common denominator, okay? The second expression or the second fraction is fine. Just leave it for right now. So if we multiply x times x minus 5, we're going to get x squared minus 5x. Add that numerator of the second expression and put it over the common denominator. Then we're going to simplify We've got an x squared and 2x squared to make our 3x squared. We have a minus 5x and a minus 2. Leave that denominator factored because now when we factor the numerator, we'll see if we have any factors that can cancel. <coughs> Hint is this, that if you already have the denominator factored, and you need to factor the numerator, it's highly, highly likely that they're going to make it so one of them is going to cancel, right? So if they're, if they're one of the harder polynomials that has, you know, a leading coefficient other than one, see if it's the same binomial factor as one that's in the denominator, right? Check it, like, go there first. Okay, if I see that there's a, a binomial factor of 3x plus 1, I'm going to try and see if 3x plus 1 is one of the factors of the numerator. Like, that's going to make it a little bit shorter for me, right? So try it, see if it works. In this case, it did. One of the factors was 3x plus 1. It works with x minus 2. So the 3x plus 1s are the binomial factor that's going to cancel, leaving us with the x minus 2 and the x minus 5. Okay. 
Let's look at B, or is anybody still writing A? I'll, I'll shrink it just a tad there. So. All right, for part B, again, the denominator's already factored, so you, will, you at some point will run into some that are already factored and some that you will need to factor first, okay? So if the denominator on the first expression is x plus 3 and x minus 3, and then the denominator on the second one is only the x plus 3. So we need to multiply it by the x minus 3 over the x minus 3. Then we've got that common denominator. I didn't have as much space, so I kind of cheated my lines there a little bit. <coughs> so I'm going to write the 9, x, 9 minus 3x, which was the numerator from the first expression. Then I'm going to distribute that 2x to the x minus 3, so 2x squared minus 6x. I left the denominator factored because I'm going to want to see if it's going to cancel in just a minute. So combine like terms up here. We've got a 2x squared, a negative 3x, and a negative 6x to get our negative 9x, and then the plus 9. So that gives us our trinomial 2x squared minus 9x plus 9. See if you can factor it to get one of the same binomials as in the denominator. And again, the x minus 3 is the same binomial. So those will cancel, and we're left with 2x minus 3 over the x minus 3. 